on the Meet Schmidt video channel. I'm here today with Ursula Raffelt. That's how you say it. Exactly. Yes. Perfect. All right, Ursula Raffel. Ursula Raffel is actually from Germany. She's writing a dissertation right now, a fascinating dissertation on a topic called architectural branding. And this is done under your professor in Munich, uh, Professor right. Anton Meyer, who's... Uh, He's holding the marketing chair. He's holding the marketing chair there. Yeah. University He's in a good, good friend of mine, actually. Yeah. So, uh, in fact, I think somewhere else in the Meet Schmidt uh, video channel, you can hear Professor Meyer talk about um, the uh, century long law on beer making in Germany. Maybe that could be a topic. I, that's, it's, Why it's, not? It was a great topic. In oh. fact, we were in, this, in, in, in Seoul in the beer hall and that's when we got to this. But we are here to talk about architectural branding. Architectural right? branding. Now, what, what, what is that? Architectural branding means you just use buildings and the outer shape of them to form brand identities. So you no longer focus just on the interior as do a lot of flagship stores. But you also use the architectural form and shape, the colors, the materials architects use to establish real identities. I see, I see. So, so can you give me some examples? Like, I mean, what kind of buildings should we be thinking about when we think about architectural branding? There are so many different forms, and it's hard to pull it at once. But there are buildings that just try to get awareness by the building type. You could think of the Swiss Re building in London by Norman Forster, like the big building that is over the ceiling of London. And then maybe you can think about buildings that just add a logo. I think this is kind of administration of a brand that's okay, like Apple. An Apple. English. Think of the Fifth Avenue store. They, okay. they established this like the one in New huge York, class it? here in New okay. York, right? Okay. This huge glass cube where people can enter the building see the products down there, it's it's means of architecture, how they present their products, and they have those glass elevators, those glass steps, and they want to feel the people like going on an airy space and okay, really okay. experience. And what does that have to do with the, the brand? brand? What does that have to do with the brand? I mean, okay, I go through the airy space and I feel good and that sort of thing. You said early on that architectural branding is about reflecting the brand identity in the building. So. How does that happen in the case of Apple? Apple tries to do it at least by by putting the products into the center of acting. This is a big part of the brand identity, the I products, see. the design of the products. So they use architectural design to get the connection to design products. And they want to do something unique, which is especially, it is unique, like putting a huge glass cube and the uniqueness is represented in their product somehow because they differentiate a lot introducing the iPod, the MacBook Pro. It's different in terms of design, so they can make the design connection in their building. This okay, is okay. architectural branding. I All think. right, I can, I, can see, I can see that with Apple now. Okay, I can see that. But, uh, uh, you know, everybody uses the Apple example for anything these days. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I use it myself in my speeches on experience as a great example of customer experience. I've recently heard a talk by a guy who talks about operations. He says, Apple has excellent operations. You know, I mean, Apple is the yeah. example for everything. Do you have any other example? Yeah, I think we should step one step out of New York to get real cool examples because New York oh, so, let, so let's do that. Lies a step back. In Europe, okay. you find really interesting examples, especially in the automotive industry. There's this huge new building in Munich, the BMW work. Well, I was so there actually um, yeah. a few weeks ago with my students, believe it or not. So how did you perceive it? Was there a brand fit? The BMW yeah, brand? I thought it was fabulous. I mean, they have this... They have this, um, I don't know what the material is, but it certainly looks like the material that you also have in the car, and there's all shiny, that's like BMW. Also, they have this, uh, we took a tour, okay? Um, okay. They have this um, tornado yeah, sort of image. Followed by the clouds in the followed sky. Followed by the clouds, very dynamic, dynamics. yeah, and that's very, very much like the brand. So, okay, so okay, that's, I got it, get it. There. Okay, excellent, excellent. So, um, so we have to get out of New York, you're saying, to see good Maybe, examples? Yes. Nothing in New York, nothing. They are really interesting, like but more flagship store designs okay. in New York. We maybe want to visit the Prada store later on because it was a really famous example of architectural branding. And they really opened Prada. their windows so you can see it from the outside. Like in fact, in preparation for this interview, I got this book here by Reem Kohlhaas, right? He is the, <laughs> he is the major uh, architect behind all the Prada stores, okay? He wrote this beautiful coffee table book here, you know, I mean, full of nice images. And, and also he has a discussion of Does it brand, question mark, brand, question mark, all right? And um, 
I guess these architects are getting heavily into 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 branding. But do they view brands differently than, let's say, a brand manager would? What, 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 what's your view on that? I spoke to a lot of architects and brand, brand managers about the topic of architecture branding, and I personally get the impression that there's still a wide gap between the those, between the both disciplines there. Okay. So how do the architects think about it? How do the brand managers think about it? I think architects really think about like getting themselves a brand in their buildings. They really want uh, okay. to get some history and some identity of architectural building for themselves. So it seems to be hard for them to get really the brand into the building. I see. They, they may not even want that, right? That's sort of what you're saying. They want yeah. to win an architectural price for it, right? Yeah. So, so there's actually the question, you know, how much does Prada gain from Kohlhaas, the architect, and how much does Kohlhaas gain from Prada? It's kind of a matter of co-branding. Yeah, it's a co-branding issue, you're right. Yeah. But also, there are some smaller architects that are not that famous. They really have an easier job to get the brand identity in the building because they don't have to care so much about right. is it the brand or is it itself they are representing at a point. So um, I think there's a different way of thinking somehow. Architects are educated by visual thinking, by getting drafts, by doing buildings that are special. And brand managers are really educated by by verbal school of thought, by psychological tool school of thought. So it's kind of a different approach to see the same topic, but there's still um, yeah, remain some gap that has to be filled by academia. Well, but it's an, it's an exciting topic, it sounds like, not only for a dissertation, but also for brand managers. And, um, and I, uh, if I, did I hear this right, that you're sort of inviting me on a tour? In New yes, York? Is that, is that I have right? to do that. Let's and, go and you are not and I Okay, and you're not just building. saying this because, uh, can you stand up for a moment? You're not just saying this because you're somehow sort of uncomfortable here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> on, maybe. On this imp improvised <laughs> studio <laughs> seat here. Okay, that you really, you really mean it, but right? But I want you to come. All oh, right, okay, so why yeah, don't we do that? I think so that could be interesting. Okay, you so why don't we have experiential marketing on the buildings, and I tell you something about the buildings. So why don't I? So don't, why don't we do that? Why don't we go out and do the next uh, Meet Schmidt uh, video channel shoot outside the studio uh, to get a better understanding of architectural branding? Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you.